Hey friends, it's me again. If you're in the game, you know the name. Yes, it's Chris Daniels, AKA CD Playa. This video is around some exciting updates and upcoming items that I wanna share with you all. First, on February 11th, 2023, we are having a fingerboard event and contest over at the Bad Space in Salem, Oregon, in the United States. Join us from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. for an absolutely epic day. The last fingerboard jam was legendary, and this time, we have even more amazing sponsors supporting the event. So far, we have confirmations from Black River, Berlinwood, Bali, USA Fingerboard League, Unique, Lost in Transition Fingerboards, Fuck Fingers, BFFB, Gibby, Chaos Art. Hey, and I've heard that um, both Dynamic and Flatface will be sending over a sponsorship package as well. Shout out to Andrew and Krista Norman for making this happen. All right, guys, it's funny because right when I start to edit my video, I see a post by my friend Andrew Norman that we have even more sponsors for the event. Joining the list that we had before, we have Goo LTD, Flock Dex, Fast Digits UK, Teak, as well as Curved. Shout out to all the sponsors that are supporting us up in the Northwest. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. These type of events are what truly grows a community. Oh, and big thank you to Santi and Brewing Company's team for being so supportive of us at last event and continuing this relationship. On a separate note, I've received some more exciting news. On Tuesday evening, I noticed that my videos were receiving an abnormally high number of views and the comments on them seemed to be from people not part of the fingerboard community. Well, these were very positive comments too and they didn't seem to be from any bots or anything. Well, that next morning, I opened up the monthly YouTube creator newsletter. I scrolled through it and to my surprise, this channel was YouTube's creator of the month for January, 2023. That's the second time that this channel has been promoted by YouTube. Some of you may remember I was selected as the creator on the rise back in October 31st. This channel was the featured channel for that day on the trending tab within YouTube. This would not have been possible without all of your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you for viewing my content, for liking it, for commenting, and for subscribing. Now with that, I will take the opportunity to take advantage of this. Be sure to tap that like button. Leave me a comment below on whether or not you will be attending a fingerboard event this year. Would love to hear that. Additionally, let me know what your YouTube channel is. I'd love to subscribe to you as well and comment on some of your content too. Now, you may be asking Chris, what is on the horizon for upcoming videos? Is there anything cool you have cooking in the oven? Well, my friends, we have all the pots in the oven right now and the stovetop as well. We have that thing loaded up and things are cooking away. First, we will have a new episode for a History of Fingerboarding series, this time on message boards specifically. This will come out this weekend, so be sure to stay tuned on the channel. Possibly tomorrow, but most likely Sunday this video will release. Additionally, I'll be filming another fingerboard mini as well, probably a minute or two of footage. I think it's gonna be on some Black River obstacles exclusively. If you have any tricks you'd like to see attempted, please let me know. Also, there will be a new episode in our most influential fingerboarder series. Once again, I'll be focusing on a fingerboarder who has made a massive impact in shaping our scene. And to be honest, I have about 20 fingerboarders that I'm waffling and debating and waving and, you know, just trying to figure out who it's going to be on. I don't know who it is yet, but I will have that figured out and released by this upcoming week. And lastly, some very exciting news to end on. Joe LeClerc, who was a pioneer in developing professional fingerboard wheels with Urolt wheels, forwarded me some footage that was supposed to be used for the unreleased Urolt video. This footage is almost entirely unreleased publicly and features legends such as Ammon Wills, Josh Toy, Justin Clanton, Manuel Becker, Vincent Hetner, Timothy Peterson, and the one, the only, Mr. Fingerboard TV, Martin Beckman himself. Additionally, there is some footage from Fast Fingers 8, which I believe has also not been released. Now I'm kind of wondering, how is the best way to release this footage? It's almost entirely individual clips, and it was in an early stage of development. People were still sending in CDs at that time. 
So my thought process for this would be to lead with an introduction for each writer and to provide some context about who they are and their relevance to fingerwork history. Then have the writers part and then repeat that over and over for each writer. Lastly, we would end with the Fast Fingers 8 exclusive footage. Do you think that sounds exciting for you all? If so, let me know in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you all.